Y'all, so there was a post on Facebook about the fact that it, I think it was Chick fil A, maybe it was Cane's, some chicken place, okay, is opening more Michigan locations, right? So a woman commented under this post and she said, Oh, like as somebody who doesn't eat red meat, I'm so happy to see that more chicken places are opening, right? And a guy commented, he replied to her, and he was like, Oh, yeah, you've eaten meat before, like a meat stick attached to the body. Ha, 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 And then he was like, and please don't take this seriously. Don't don't take it too serious. I'm just joking, so and so and so. And I keep talking about this. I keep talking about this because it keeps happening and because it keeps being an issue. Women can sit there and breathe and men will sexualize us, right? But women have been convinced that men will only treat us a certain way if we deserve it, right? So, you know what, y'all? Let me just play the intro and then we're going to get into it. Now, looky here, y'all. I'm speaking from firsthand experience, okay? So many women have been convinced that if we act a certain way, men will respect us, right? We've been convinced... Oh, men only disrespect the hoes and the hoochie mamas, right? If you act like a woman who deserves to be respected, then men will absolutely respect you, right? And I'm speaking on this personally because I went through this, y'all, and I really believe this, okay? So me personally, I'm kind of modest. I'm a bit of a prude, okay? So in society's eyes, I'm the ideal woman. I ain't a hoochie mama. I ain't out here talking about whatever so-and-so-and-so, right? So... For a long time, right, into my early adulthood, I truly believed that men would treat me better than they treated the baby mamas and the hoes and the hoochies and, and the strippers and the prostitutes and all of them, right? I really believed that. I really believed that men only disrespected those groups of women because those groups of women, they disrespected themselves, right? And that they had earned the way that men treated them, right? But... As I got into my early 20s, I realized that men were approaching me the exact same way that they approached those women, right? Like, my Facebook DMs was ridiculous. I kid y'all not. Okay, now mind you, on Facebook, I don't post sexual statuses. I don't post sexual pictures. I'm always fully clothed. It's not that type of vibe, right? But men were in my DMs constantly like, ooh, like what that mouth do? I want to see my dick between your lips, so and so and so. I'm trying to fuck. I bet that pussy wet. So, and I was just like, yo, what? And I was legitimately confused because nothing on my Facebook was like, yeah, that's the type of vibe I'm on. Nothing at all, right? Yet men were still approaching me as if that was the type of vibe that my Facebook put off. I remember I had a whole meltdown over this. I posted a status cutting up, right? Like, why are y'all in my DMs on this? Because when I tell y'all this was constantly happening, it wasn't like, oh, once in a while, you know. Oh, it's, it's an anomaly for a guy to do that. No, it was constantly happening, right? So I posted this status going off about it. And I got a bunch of comments and DMs from guys like, well, what did you do to deserve that? You must have posted something to make those men approach you that way. And that's when it clicked to me. That's that's really when it clicked to me, right? Because these guys use the same responses that they use with the hoochie mamas and the hoes, right? When a, when, a, when a woman who posts something sexual is assaulted in some capacity, men say, well, what did you do to deserve that, right? But they use the same exact rhetoric with me, somebody who doesn't, you know, post sexual things. And that's when I realized it doesn't matter what you wear or what you talk about or how you present yourself or any of that. Men are going to treat all women the exact same. And they've managed to convince us that if we carry ourselves a certain way, we won't be treated like that. And that the issue is other women and not men, right? And I'm talking about all this because this woman commented under a post about Chick-fil-A's, y'all. She literally said, oh yeah, I don't eat red meat. I'm happy that there are going to be more restaurants that I can eat at. And this man replied talking about, yeah, you've eaten meat sticks before attached to the body. <laughs> like, yeah, don't take it too seriously. Like... Huh? And this is the type of stuff, right? This is the type of stuff when a woman gets upset by this and gets offended by this, men are going to say, well, well, what did you do to deserve it? Uh, I ate at Chick-fil-A? Like, what? And this is the thing, y'all. So the woman, she simply replied to him and said, that's that's a weird thing to say to a stranger, right? And he replied to her, oh, yeah, you, you taking it too seriously, so and so and so. And I replied and I said, you know, the funny thing is, if you had left a comment similar to hers and said, oh, I'm excited that more Chick-fil-A's are opening because I don't eat red meat. And a gay man had responded to you and said the same thing you said to her, right? If a gay man had said, oh, yeah, you eat meat, the type of meat that's attached to bodies, meat sticks, so-and-so-and-so, don't take it too seriously, though, right? 
you would be mad as hell. If a gay man approached you how you approach women, you would probably commit a hate crime, okay? But then you'll sit there and tell women to not be upset by it and that we should just take it from you. How does that make sense? So it's funny when you approach women in a way that makes them uncomfortable, but a gay man better not approach you like that. No, no, no. Then it's an issue, right? And this is something I've mentioned before, right? Something I've mentioned before is straight men have a problem with gay men because they're scared that gay men will treat straight men how straight men treat women. That's their issue with gay men, right? That's that's really what it boils down to because straight men will sit there all day and tell women, oh, cat calling is not a bad thing, so and so and so. Now, they could be they could be screaming out some vulgar stuff that is scary and makes women uncomfortable, right? And they'll sit there and say, oh, it's a compliment, right? He's just saying you look good. But if a gay man cat called him the way that he cat calls women, it will be a fight and, and it, it may very well end up being a hate crime. Somebody might die, right? Because the shit is not funny when it happens to you and you know that, but you don't give a fuck about that because you don't give a fuck about women. That's what this all boils down to. Before I end this video, I want to point one thing out, okay? Neither the man nor the woman under this post were black and I'm pointing that out for a reason, okay? Because I notice as a black person, whenever something negative happens between two black people, everybody white people non-black people whoever right they all paint it as like some just community-wide failure of the the black community okay so so if a black person robs another black person everybody's talking about oh black on black crime oh my god the black community just so and so and so right but a white person can go into a school and shoot up all their white classmates and nobody ever says white on white crime or anything like that that person is viewed as an individual and not as a product of some community-wide failure of white people, right? So I'm pointing this out because whenever a black man and a black woman disagree on something, everybody's always hollering about the black gender divide and all of this other stuff, right? But, 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 but the men of any other community can treat the women of any other community terribly just the same way any black man treats any black woman right and nobody's ever going to sit there and talk about oh that's just a failure of that community blah 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 no they're always treated as individuals okay so i wanted to point that out as a black person because you know y'all be playing brand new all the time